Hi, I'm Lucas with Kurt Manufacturing, and today I'm going to show you how to take apart and maintain a D688 or a D675. So the first thing you want to do is take, loosen up the set screw from the back of the movable jaw. Once that's loose, you should be able to lift the movable jaw off of the nut. And once that's off, you'll want to check inside the movable jaw, there's a pocket filled with grease, and that's where your segment will sit. Now the segment is the thing that looks like a little half ball made of steel. You want to make sure that's undamaged and sitting in that pocket full of grease. Once you have that, removed. The next thing you want to do is remove the spiral retaining ring that holds the screw in place back here near the hex. Once you have that removed, the next thing you want to do is remove the stationary jaw. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either flip it over or come at it from underneath. I'm going to show you how to come at it from underneath, like this. You'll reach up under and loosen these two bolts. Once you have those, you pull off the stationary jaw. Then, once those are clear, you can actually pop off the nut and screw assembly. A thrust washer will come off that end. And out of this end, you'll get the bearing pack, which consists of a washer, a bearing, and another washer. You want to make sure these are undamaged and that they're greased before they go back in. Put it back in, we'll just get those back in place. We'll slide the screw assembly back through. Then you will replace thrust washer back here and the spiral retaining ring. And then you put your stationary jaw back. Replace the bolts that come up from underneath. After that, you put the movable jaw back in place and tighten down the set screw. Now when you tighten it back down, you want to snug it up with an Allen wrench. And then, once it's snug, You want to back it off about a quarter to an eighth of a turn. And that's it.